what is up y'all it is me tasha c and in this particular video i'll be reviewing recapping the oval season one episode one the pilot episode one of tyler perry's new series that just came out and premiered uh, a couple hours ago but shout out to my youtube fam and you like what you see and what you hear don't forget to subscribe down below and forget to like the video share the video and don't thumbs up to get all the notifications <laughs> anyway y'all even though there's a lot going on you have to watch the show and realize like hey you know what i want to see where this could goes because i know it's over the top but it's a less good uh go over the top okay and you know it just let y'all warn if y'all you know y'all used to watching tyler perry some of his films some of his series uh tv series and stuff like from own if we ever get back to those again um and so forth we know sometimes tyler perry deals with subject as addictions cults um abuse uh power uh, uh you know powers as control blah 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 whatever so you have to be careful say the stuff is you tr some of the stuff is triggered it was affairs lust whatever blah 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 okay i was surprised this rating was tv 14 considering you know some of the stuff that was seen in this episode but anyway y'all let's get into it now the oval is based on this couple interracial couple couple whatever okay and they obviously got elected supposedly after the bombs and we have a first scene we see where we found her name is victoria is in the mirror and she's like you know got large red and her husband hunter comes behind her and went so she just like this one so she walks to the bed um you know start putting on you know her you know bad body works prime or victoria's secret uh, lotion on whatever or barbie more expensive that of course and he's basically like you know talk to me whatever or say something to me she's like leave me alone basically right she still put lotion he throws a little lotion in her hand like you know gets her to stand up and he kind of you know has it like this and she's like you know what i will scream or whatever you know he's like ain't nobody gonna believe whatever right now, next minute, I'm thinking this is a dream sequence of David Makes Man, like, type of things, you know, and also watch that show if y'all got time, if you haven't seen it yet. I'm thinking it might be, because, I mean, it is rare cases that there are, like, dream sequences in Tyler Perry's productions, but I was just like, this, the whole damn entire time, okay, y'all? When he was like, anybody love to go next minute, I seen the other day, you get the spit, she spat on hunter and smack him around a couple times it became a wwe fight or we fight okay it became worth on a register than that being because she up here smacking him around then a couple times then he was like this how you get back brr, 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 punch it to the ground whatever right and then she was like you know i thought you said you were never gonna hurt because you know hit me again he was like i mean yeah i promised that whatever and then next minute they still go down she up there throwing a frame on his head they still some we stuff he knock on the side you know did he break, did he break up glass glass little bowl of water like the little swans over this on top of her head you know i'm just like they fighting they fighting fighting no abuse is not okay what type of shit is this ain't they supposed to be president and first lady uh, oh this, 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 this whole, i'm just thinking like i hope it's not one of those scenes that they out there fighting and they got some systematic ass ways that they gonna get finished it off by they smashing at the end okay i'm like it's already tense enough like i said she being his ass she being her ass and then you know i think because when she got time i was like i hope they ain't gonna finish this off and think they nasty ass, you know crazy ass gonna finish off that she gonna ride him after they sit there and her bob her eye possibly gonna be swollen and stuff and he gonna sit there with some damn duck lips and stuff or whatever i'm just saying like it no but Max, I think part of the secret stuff is like everything's okay, whatever, you know, and they're like, yeah, we fine, whatever. So they stop beating each other's asses. And we got a later thing like they have two children we find out later on. And one of their names is Gail. Uh Gail, I'm rebellious ass. I forgot what the son's name is, okay? <sighs> but uh, here we go. Now, just to let y'all know as well, if y'all gonna remember the characters, you're probably gonna have to write them down and print them out to remember them. Because Tyler Perry will get a credit, will make sure he's gonna make sure he gets us all employed. And um, I look, y'all, and I think it is about 35 people who are in the intro, okay? And it's because like three or four people do 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 on the screen. Do, do, do. You got a screenshot, and every two milliseconds, catch who is who. 
and even in starring, starring, starring five, five people on the screen, skip two on the screen. So it's gonna be a lot of characters, y'all. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm saying. It's one of those series is in order to get into it and understand it because they got about at least, you know, 800 people in, in the series. Not to say it's not interesting, but it's a lot of people to follow. Okay. And, um, so we get like, they get ready to pay the parents inauguration, dinner or whatever, blah, 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 whatever. Right. And I guess their, you know, location, the hotel, whatever, you know, besides being each other's asses, whatever the case is. So one of the characters, what I found out later on, they cut to a scene. Now, there's a, a character named uh, Richard. He is the head butler, and he has been here, you know, for years. He, they got him, and they have his wife, Nancy, um, who's also the mother of Bear, we find out. Because it's a little girl. I forgot the little girl's name, whatever. And, um, you know, she's talking to this little girl. They cut to a scene. Because, like I said, it's a lot of back and forth. I'm not going to go a particular order. I'm just going to go by what I see. What I see. I glad the eyes with these glasses. So they are talking all of a sudden. This is why I was surprised it was only TV fourteen because you seen uh uh the son. Well, I, well, I didn't know whether it was the son or daughter staying and what was going on. But upstairs, you know, uh uh, there's there's some riding going on, and I'm not talking about riding on the range going on or whatever. And the mom knocks on the door. Turns out the next day, like like your daughter wants to see you, see you and stuff like that. So I'm thinking it's the couple's child and they still stay in their parents' house or one of the parents' house or law house or whatever, you know, uh, the man's house or woman's house, you know, family's house, whatever. And you know how we get rid of the place. And she's like, you know, still was here like, yeah, I hope y'all do too. So the baby wants to see them downstairs. Um, so like I said, Richard works in the White House and they're getting ready they're trying to instantly move them in. And while at the same time, I think it's Scylla, like I said, it's so many characters, y'all. It's Scylla, there's Bobby, there's Don, there's Gail, there's Victoria, there's Hunter. I don't know Hunter's the Victoria's the son's name. There's this, there's the poor at the navigation. There's Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. There's everybody up in this damn thing. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I think her name is Lilia Lilica. Okay, like I said, we, there's a lot of names. Lilia Lilica. Now, Don is the chief in staff. He tells Richard when they get off, it's like, oh, you the only one. You know, they got movers, but it's certain fragile things that Richard's required to move. Even though he's the head butler, which is a totally different position, and they already have movers, but they've been sitting with them. Then there's, I think there's Scylla and there's Gene and some other people that are up here, like, going over all what these dishes she wants. She wants all organic food. She wants no sugar, no white flour, no uh, 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 you know, no white flour, no salt, no blah, 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 blah. She was every day. Now, it's interesting that Victoria believes, like, she wants certain stuff for her daughter, I think, for the son, too, but nothing for the husband. So they're like, well, maybe he's not that bad. But it's interesting. What I want to say is Victoria wants organic food and, you know, probiotics and all this stuff, prebiotics and want cleansing and, like, you know, stuff to go to her body. But you're in a whole damn toxic-ass relationship. I don't care how much fruits and protein shakes your ass have. When you son there got a punch or they punch you, whatever, whatever. Y'all ain't supposed to be my Tyson each other. You ain't supposed to do to him, ain't supposed to do vice versa. But, you know, that ain't the first go around. I mean, you know, I, I okay, let's get to the next thing. But I was just saying how interesting, how picky she was about this food. But like I said, she can have cage-free chickens in the background. That is in the back of the White House, right next door. Personally, has a chef that comes in from Paris to purposely pair this food every time she has food, and still, it would not erase this toxic it we are seeing right now. Okay, and continue on. It looks from this. This is just like I said. It's a good hot ass mess. You could have good ass hot ass messes too. Okay. So, anyways, we got. Another problem, too. Now, one of our things, Secret Service staff, her name is Junia Numa, whatever, right? Now, she comes in because they're asking, is everything uh, uh, okay? You know, because Max, you know, uh, Don asks Mac, are you, so you okay? You didn't hear nothing? Okay, good. You go find out about this job out here in my, you know, like Victoria and Hunter up there, you know, up there uh, giving black and blues to both of their skins. And so, we got, like I said, we got a scene where. Um, like I said, the kids. And the problem is Gail, which I mean, she does not want to get ready to go. I guess she has a boyfriend or some guy she messes with that she wants to make a and Victoria's like, hell no. So she goes to see her, right? 
which this is a scene that reminds me of, I think this is Veronica's cousin, this is a spinoff, and this is Veronica's cousin, or long lost sister that she don't want to tell us, to Veronica, but half and half nots, because she is like Veronica, but I, for what I gather it, no, I think, no, 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 she's one step ahead of Veronica, Veronica, you know, tried to take her barber down with her kids, and she got her ass beat, Veronica did, by Victoria. Because, I mean, Victoria is, like I said, ain't nothing to play play. I, like I said, Veronica make her match. This is just episode one. <laughs> so, anyway, um, she goes to see the daughter. Like, let me go ahead and talk to her. And Gail's like, you know, Mom, you know, why can't my man, you know, go to the inauguration? I'm not going, blah, blah, blah. And Victoria's like, you're not. So you're not going to do this. She, she basically let him know, like, you know, you with this guy and all oh, he's drug dealer. You no, know, his name's Leon, a drug dealer, stuff like that. He ain't nobody. He got this long as his train. I'm wearing this dress, whatever. Because by that time, they probably got dressed and probably cool, cover up their bruises and stuff. You know, put a little, you know, peroxide on them and shit. So anyway, um, she let her know, like, okay, you ungrateful ass, little ass bitch. If you ever, you know, basically giving them, if you ever try to play me, you better get ready, something like that whatever, I'm going to make your life live in hell, and, you know, she was kind of still looking at her, or said something like, no, I ain't going to do it, she just comes up, first I thought she was going to smack her to the wall, something like that, you know, just finish off, you know, when she started with Miss, Mr. Hunter's ass, and it is like, you know, just, you know, smack, you know, just like, hit her, because she go, comes up here, but she's like, you know what, okay, you, you know what, okay, I, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'll slam you, put you right wall, and you know I'll do it too, and the angle that they have on her eyes, are like, she's, um, that at this point, she's a, a beautiful woman, and then, but you know, just the craziness in her eyes, like the twinkle, like I'll stab you and smile at the same time. She just give me like, try me if you want to, me, bitch. That that's that that's what it is, okay? Because she's like this. She just work hard to get in this off, you know, get this office and get in this already back. You know, I'm married and to prove myself to first wife. You want to hear play games and wear that boob dress like I told you because I don't want that green uh um. Let us color damn dress your ass is wearing, basically. Good day, bitch. And keep going. And basically, she kept going. Okay, so anyway. Uh, but the, the girl was scared, or she wasn't saying nothing else when the mom was sitting up there uh, looking the other day in the eyes. She, you know, she, you know, did this. And then, because, you know, the brother was there at first, and because she told her, she told get this, um, um, I forgot what the, the um, little uh, bro's name was, but she left, you know what I'm saying, told him to leave where she talked to us uh, to get ready. He comes back in after, you know, basically, uh, Veronica was going to, you know, take the life that she gave to, to Gail's ass. And he liked this. He did say something creepy. It's like, oh, okay, well, let's just get ready, whatever. Do you want me to help you uh, change or put your clothes on or something like that to help change? She was like, no, get out. And I'm sitting here like, what this motherfucker was like? And she said creepy. And I was like, oh, uh, what the hell? Okay. Church thing. What, what, what did you just say? Okay. Okay. What in the, the the case of possible incest, pervert, predator, predator is this? Okay. So anyway, we got like I said, there's there's another couple now. The Don is the chief of staff, I and mean, he's the one who was an a hole to Richard and stuff like that, right? And his wife is Lily. She's actually, I guess, a designer. Um, you know, a famous designer for like say the you know of Victoria and other people. She's actually wearing a piece with the inauguration dance tonight. Okay. And um, she's, I guess, first class, she's trying to get there. And the problem is, is that, you know, you know, the flight and this bad weather and stuff. So, <laughs> she's on right next to a guy who's by the name, we're going to say Bobby. Well, I like to say, you know, this is what, what I always remember the scene come America. Of course, the band Sexual Chocolate with Eddie Murphy playing a character. And that is the term of sexual chocolate. Okay, I'm going to call Bobby sometimes sexual chocolate. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Sexual chocolate. You'll see. So she's around Mr. Bobby, also known as Sexual Chocolate. And he all like, you know, oh, I want some bourbon. And the lady needs uh, need bourbon. She's like, no, I'm straight. And he asked her, like, you know, are you okay? Blah, blah. Oh, I like your design stuff like that, whatever, right? You know, are you a designer? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, we see the connection with that. He was like, oh, because I'm a painter. And then she tries calling her husband when they on their way, they still flying up in the airs. She called, you know, she, she they says that there's a delay and stuff because, you know, something about the weather, so they're going to have to go in Charleston. So they ain't going to be able to make it, you know, to D.C. in time, whatever the case is, right? And she tell her husband, the husband's worried, you know, a lot of people, the thing is with this is imagery. 
and pretend to be one thing they're not. You know what I mean? So she tried to tell her husband, I'm sorry. I was trying to get a car and make it down there when I uh, can, whatever, like when Charleston just drive away. And he's mad. He's like, I worked this hard to get this man in the White House. And you mean to tell him you ain't going to be there? She's already on air mode and stuff like this. She's like, sorry, the Wi-Fi, I can't you like hear you, but um, hello, hello. And she, he's just furious. So... You know, because uh, like I said, also when they had the little turbulence, he was holding uh, Lily, Lily's hand. Um, and she, you know, and she was like, uh, excuse me, but it took a minute, whatever, right, whatever, right. So, of course, they got to be at the airport and they got to, you know, like wait for the delay until they're able to get Trevor. Because Bobby also told me before the plane ended, he was like, uh, you know, like, you know, the weather's going to be bad, so you're probably not going to be able to even get there in time. Because, like I said, I was mad. Like, even when she was talking about driving, you ain't going to get there in time. You're just mad. That's something that's not her fault. Okay? So, I don't know where she was at where at first and then coming there, but maybe she had another client. And so, we go to back to later on. I want to get them out the way because I want to go back to Nancy because, like I said, it's a lot of back and forth because it's like a, you know, a soap opera, soap opera stylish thing. Okay? So, anyways, um, I I want to point out when they were getting ready for inauguration, Gail didn't come there, and it was interesting when uh, the son came downstairs already. You know, they are Hunter got his clothes on, she got her clothes and whatever, and they find out Gail is not coming, and she's going to White House. You know, the tour is like make sure she's steering the door, get blah blah blah. And the the son says, "You ain't got to follow me everywhere." And I think one of the parents was like, well, you know why you're being followed. And I first thought, like, okay, that's is that because they are part of the first, the first family now and they're going to be followed away? Or is it because the creep part uh, why he's being followed? Is that there, too? Can we get an answer? Well, I guess we'll see. We got to keep watching to find out what the heck that meant. Okay. But anyway, so besides that, we got, oh my gosh, okay, because Barry turns out to be Nancy's and Richard, who has a bad back and know his ass needs some Tiger Bomb back of his back or something, some Epsom sauce baths, uh, baths to get care of whatever's going on in his back, whatever, okay? So Nancy is one of those people that there's nothing wrong with having compassion, but compassion can be bent to foolery or being too nice when people can mess with it, right? So... Before Barry gets out there, it Barry's downstairs and his, I don't know, I guess his wife, I don't know, I first thought she was the little girl's mom, you know, Nessie's granddaughter, um, Nessie and um, Richard's granddaughter, but no, she's Barry's daughter and the woman's stepdaughter, because they're like, uh, you know, they're like, she's here, your mother, you know, before Betty, because Richard asked, can he, you know, Barry get his clearing papers, whatever, you know, to help him, you know, his dad move this particular delicate stuff, okay. Probably some witch and change a handcuff and some stones. Anyway, so he, you know, he, you know, um, the mom must have found a call or seen him out there to see what's her name out here, right? And then like the child's mama, he was like handled. And I ain't gonna lie, when I first thought when the mom was gonna be out there, she was gonna be a bye, one of them type of bitches, right? You know, when it goes handle out there. So you see the back, and I'm sitting here like, what in the search for Salem witches is going on? And the way, like, even from the back, it looked like her. And then when I see the front of her off in the way she was, I was like, okay, the hand in the Handmaid's Tale audition. Uh, so he's talking, and she's just like this, I want to be able to see my daughter. You can't keep me from the daughter. And Barry's like, I got full custody, and you are make her upset, and you are not supposed to be around her anyway. I have full custody for a reason. And Rufus, like this, that's her name. She was like, oh, well, I just want to see her. And I'm supposed to be with her. And the highest, I want to be able to see my daughter. I think she blinked. Did she blink? Did she breathe? I think so. I, I think she, well, you know, blinked and breathed. I, I think we were going there. And she's like, let me be able to see my daughter. Please allow me to. And... He's like, no, take your ass on. So when he, you know, the, Nancy comes out there, and I first thought maybe she was gonna cuss out Ruth and stuff like that. Before she goes in the house, house, he's like, she's like the the highest Pikachu, Pikachu says in the highest form, and blah blah blah, and the male elated, and go to level fifty four. Uh, you know, one of them type. Okay, she in the full coat. Okay, and he like, you don't take that nonsense somewhere else, and. The mama's mom comes out and says, hold on, hold on, baby, just, just go in the house, just get ready to go. Because he went 
ahead, I guess, to go to go help his dad, you know, at the White House. And she talks, and she was like, you know, she t- Nancy talks to Rupert. She's not telling like you like like I know you're trying to see your daughter and stuff like that, but Rupert, you know, stuff like that. And Rupert's like, yeah, I really want to see my daughter. I miss her. I miss her. She even tried late well enough to make sure her daughter heard her, but her daughter never came to the door. Before Barry left, his wife was on the door. She was just like, oh, is my daughter in there with her? Is she there with her? Blah, 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 blah. You know, whatever the, whatever the case is. And, but, you know, she didn't come outside, but she let me know, like, oh, try it if you want to. But she went back in, I guess, to sit down with the little girl. But that's, you know, Rufus basically saying, okay, it's like, I just want to see my daughter again, blah, 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 and this and that, and, and whatever. And Nancy was like, I understand, I know, but come back at nine. When I mean, like I said, where where did the wife take off with her? Maybe she was asleep, whatever, what, you know, whatever. But she's like, come back at nine, you can spend an hour. And I thought she meant like next morning. I didn't know tonight. And she, cause she ended up calling her after she had talked to her. She said she was going to call her, agree to call her. She ends up calling Ruth. And saying that Barry didn't, you know, uh, disagree. And she's like, I know, but my diction, uh, my diction counselor said it will help me to see her and blah, blah, blah. Now, already, you know, if we found out more, a little more information with Barry, uh, you know, gets, you know, gets to the White House to talk to his dad, you know, whatever. And when she was talking to his dad, you know, again, which is not surprising, okay, she was dealing with, um, you know, she left um, the, the baby in the crack house. And the cult is, you know, that allegedly that this cult, now this is a cult is one of the cults where you got, um, where you got this sick ass uh, predator who's up here messing and marrying these 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 girls, these little girl, you know, these kids. And so, you know, that was like, but that's legend. But still, she is in a cult. She's up here praising Pikachu's cousin. Uh, where's the Pokemon? Whatever the hell the damn uh uh guy's name supposed to be, identity she believes in, whatever. Okay. But anyway, so that very concerned, and he has every right to be. Oh, look at that hand. So when Gail is up there, we don't know if she, you know, took some shots in the head on the way there to the White House, or if she was drunk, or she was on some. I don't know what the heck it is, you know. Um, leaning to the left, I, I don't know what the hell. When she got there, she throwing a purse, and she was kind of like, you know, people pose to serve her type of thing. Like, she has, whether she want to know that, a part of her personality, at least from her mom, is there, like, having this, ha, I'm better than, or something like that, or you post bow down to me, bitch. Because when she came there, she dropped the purse, dropped the coat, whatever. I'm like, that's bad luck, bitch. You put your money, you know, that's unlucky, but, you know, okay, your purse. But anyway, that's your business. But anyway, she liked this. She turned about, don't touch me. Oh, I want you, okay, you, but, but, but I want you to take me to my room, and I, you know, they're like, can we get you some coffee, I think Richard was like, she's like, no, I want a burger, okay, and, but she looking at Barry, because, you know, Jean, I think, who's over the housekeeping stuff of that, like that, was like, well, I could take you, you know, uh, you know, we'll take you, she's like, no, I want help, so I think Scylla, you know, because was like, we got to deal with this, with this is before she got to, got into, I, I think before Gail came in or afterwards, they're like, we gotta deal with this for the next damn four years, and, um, but, so, Barry takes Gail, and, you know, Scylla's like, I guess she's over, like, I, I don't know if she's director or something, but something gotta do with the White House, too, and she tells Jean, you know, I guess she's one of the housekeepers, you know, to go follow them, whatever, and, she, you know, she does follow, but when, as soon as they get in the room, which I already knew was troublesome anyway, as soon as they get in the room, oh, is this just it? And then she tells G, well, you got to leave. I want him to stay. Problem number one. So G leaves, and instead of, like, you know, beep, beep, calling for help, oh, this bitch about to start some stuff, she, you know, it, it, this is how you knew, oh, something bad was going to happen anyway. So as soon as he, she closed the door, she like this, you know, oh, so you say your dad is, uh, you know, that's your dad's side. Well, how bad do you want this job? Or something like that. And we already know. He was like, huh? So she started lifting up her uh, 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 skirt and stuff, whatever. And you like, you know, because she's like, don't you want me? If it's my everything you desire, don't you want this? And he like, no, I don't want you, whatever. No, get, you know, basically like start back up, whatever, go to us, but like, don't get away. And then she got on her knees and just go like taking it, trying to like start buckling, you know, like about to just force a rip, 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 rip. like, he's like, no, but still, I'm, you know, I like, I go to stay and he didn't want to like hear no like, but he had no choice but to do this, like, you know, somebody got it with the shoulders fine instead of mom, you know, just did the shoulders and she accidentally bumps her head, it's like a little steel box in front of the bed, so boom, boom, or a table or something like that. So she moved like this when knocked down. He was like, oh my gosh, do, 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 you know, soap opera music. So, 
And I was like, oh my gosh, is this about to be, I mean, y'all ever read or seen the summary's native sum? I was like, is this about to be some native sum, native sum shit? Is that what's about to be? Oh, okay. Woo, that was going to be, uh, how the heck this, how the heck this going to go? But, um, anyways, let's go zoom back in with Lily. You know, she tried to call her husband again. He ain't answering. He's that mad. And she's right next to um Bobby, which I still would have my own bourbon, my drink for this choice. Because she, now she's asking, you know, the bourbon when they're at the little bar and the little airport part. And he like, um, you know, oh, you can finish mine. And, you know, I'll just order another one. She like, thanks. And, but I'm like, why would you take, okay. We just watch it. And he's basically saying like, you know, he started saying like, dang, this thing, I feel sorry for you. I'm, I'm my bad. But it seemed like he's, you know, you're very disappointed. You see your husband seemed like mistreated you the way because she had a picture and he was looking at it because I think he said, asked to sit right next to her. And he's like, oh, is that your dad? She's like, no, that's my husband. But he was like this, like, you know, he treats you wrong. And he don't start, you know, putting the moves on her, whatever, like, you know, like, you know, have you, you know, and, you know, whatever. And start saying, I'm nice, you look, whatever. And she was like, you need to be concerned about your own marriage. You got married, married, bro. Uh, when are we going on this well, right? But he was like, but don't you want to get away? Don't you want to say, like, F for some time to be free? And she basically like, uh, there's consequences to everything. But still, even then, he's able to just put his hand on her stomach, on her thigh, somewhere. It, somewhere it wasn't supposed to touch, period. Okay? But she's saying stop, but about at least 60 seconds, if you use a timer, we probably went past by before she said, stop, I'm not that drunk. I mean, I, you know, I'm not that drunk for that. He was like, you have to be drunk to have a good time, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then, y'all, I just had to laugh about his short to be sick. But, you know, I'll tell you about a couple minutes or so. <laughs> it's just funny. Um, the sad says, so he was like this, you know, I'm going to the restroom. And the restroom is a family room. You know, it has, you know, a just changing table on it, you know, phones and stuff. And, you know, it's a dark look door. And that, doesn't that sound exciting? And at first, I'm like, well, I hope he ain't talking about smashing her, talking about her body, you know, so, so she can get dicked down on a changing table. See, moms, we, you know, I ain't mom yet, but I'm just saying, you you got to make sure you wipe down a grip. And anybody, when y'all got babies, you got to change that room. You got to make sure you carry some disposable Hand, you know, so small spoon wipes and wipe down the change table before you change your babies. But you got nasty MFs like that. They want your freaking pops to have their nasty old cats and asses all on the change board, possibly. Or some slum, somebody's mop, some, some, some spectacle. Because you know all the time some of them don't be wiped down on them change tables and stuff. I just nasty ass motherfucker. Okay, anyways, so he all suggested that. And I'm like, she gonna fall for it. Because she had that look like, you know what? Just this one time look. You know how that goes. But, you know, not like I feel offended because if she felt offended, like, you know, get the heck off. She had that look on her face like, you know what? Yeah. So she goes in there. I don't see no condoms. So, you know, I mean, that that pleasure better be worth it because, you know what? You know, you, 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 you better be careful before your coochie be on fire and stuff like that. And the volcanoes be splurting. And then I ain't talking about the orgasm you think you're going to get because he all, you know, um, uh, up, you know, they used to show the same sex, sex and would take off shirt off and then, you know, whatever. And, you know, you know, smashing her on the wall, smashing here, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, like I said, he ain't got no condom on, girl. You better be careful for your coochie be singing back to you for help. Cause telling the call, tell you to call 911. Shit. So anyway, um, we go to that scene. So yeah, that, that's, that, that's the end of that. So she's had an affair with Bobby's sexual chocolate. Okay. So anyways, let's go back to the inauguration dance. Now, they also, they have it when the president and his wife, Victoria, is coming in. And they're walking down. And you see one particular woman, the lady in red. Uh, Victoria gives her that look like this bitch. And probably what they were arguing about enough. They're fighting. And they be even coming blows to blows and stuff earlier, okay? And... When they do the dance, you hear how Al Green's version, they get on and start dancing. You are so beautiful. Because it was like two or three times they had to show the lady in red again, okay? Um, and then, you know, she even tells the hunter, I hate you. So she, the Kelly's, Kelly's famous line, the first thing y'all heard it, but caught, caught out there. I hate you so much. Actually, it was so much right now, but I'm just saying it's how much. You brought your whore to you. And Hunter learns to say, well, you know, I can bring plus one. And she was like, go to hell or something. But they still dancing. They still together. So, anyway, y'all. Now, before 
um, Nancy, just, like I said, Nancy calls Ruth for her to come over, you know, whatever. Also, where Ruth said, like, spring the little children, she's like, bring the little children to me, bring the children. I'm like, what in the Pied Piper bullshit bull is this? But the, even the way how she sounded, bring the little children. <coughs> she ain't talking about mom need to be with their kids. Now. She said, bring the little children. Mm -mm. See, the bitch was chanting. So anyway. She st allows her to come. She was just like, just come over for an hour or something like that. Like I said, where is Barry's wife, girl, whatever? Where is she at? So anyways, she comes over, and they have a later scene where she's talking to her daughter. And she was like, and she's like, okay, now it's time to go. It's been two hours, whatever, right? And she's up here like, okay, um, okay, uh, Ruth, we, we got to go. You know, like I said, I think Ruth blinked only one time. And I think this when she was seeing bring the little children to me when she was walking away the first time. Okay. And um, she was like, no, I need my daughter. I miss her. And, you know, the, the daughter was like, you're hurting me, mama, whatever. Because even though she missing her mom, because Nessie also asked her mom, Nessie also asked the baby before she called Ruth, which I already knew it was like danger, danger right there. Like, Nessie, you stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you made a stupid possible life changing decision okay but anyways so there's no one have compassion but you know you can pray for cl clarity discernment clarity discernment okay so anyways she Ruth was like I can't let her go blah 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 she was like the highest Ruka Ruka Pooh Pikachu um squirrel squirrel I'm a rise up. Then it's, uh, people start naked. There are other purple rain damn outfits coming out, or at least five people, whatever, to kidnap the baby. Because she said, I'm taking this child with me. And Ruth of this sick effort, she basically about to start for take the baby. So, oh, it's just baby so mad. And, and Nancy's like, no, you can't take your mom blah, 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 blah. So, Papa So, I'm like, oh, gosh. I, I, I can't. So, Besides that, uh, let me go to the last little scene, and then I'll be done. And you know, I still got. I'm. St I'm going to do another review after this. I hope y'all, you know, have some snacks to enjoy, and or you know, just listen. So the last little part I want to get into is Gail. You know, Jean comes in over there because Bear's. Like, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. And Jean like, well, why is the skirt lift up? She was like, she tried to come on you, know, Bear. She tried to come on to me. She tried to come on to me. And and um, Jean's like, hold on one second. She's like this. Mail, Gail, Gail, and here Gail was like, uh, and she wakes up, he raped me, he raped me, and the bear still looking like, I didn't do nothing, I didn't do nothing, and Jean was like, wait here, do the soap opera part, so that's pretty much it, y'all, that's what I got, I hope y'all enjoy, but like I said, see it for yourself, y'all, like I said, it's, 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 actually intriguing, I'm not saying this just, just, um, just to be saying it, but I'm like, oh my god, who the hell will go with something else? Okay, but anyway, y'all hugs and loves, and y'all actually will see me with more reviews with this show. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, let me get out of here. And when we see the previews, Victoria going ham on Hunter. Bobby sexual chocolate is lit because house. But I'm just like, oh my gosh, they about to take the baby. I mean, yeah, just a hot mess room. But hey. But hugs and luxury, y'all take care. See y'all in the next video.